Hey, my friend, and welcome to Mile High Living. I'm Emily McKenzie. Mental health can be a tough conversation to have for many people, but with the help of the Aurora Mental Health Center, that conversation can be a little bit easier. I'm here with Dr. Danielle Jackman. You are the Director of Diversity, Equality, and Inclusion at the Aurora Mental Health Center. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. I love talking about mental health. I, it's one of my favorite conversations, and I'm curious, what would you say is your overall mission at the Mental Health Center of Aurora? Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me to the table. To me, Aurora Mental Health Center is about really embedding into our diverse community where we can offer state-of-the-art, trauma-informed and person-centered care to all community members where they can thrive and not just survive life thriving and not surviving. It's mm -hmm. something I say to myself every day. I yes. love that mission. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Danielle, why is it so important in your opinion that the African-American communities and the Latino communities get involved in the conversation about mental health? Yeah, well, that's a really great question and a deep question as well. You know, a mental health and health care in marginalized populations, including African-American and the Latino or Latinx populations, have been for so long stigmatized, both externally and within those communities. And I always say, you shouldn't have a conversation about us without us. Mm. And so from that perspective, it's really important that we have people coming to the table, sharing their voice and their lived experiences so others may resonate with that and, and really get a sense of why taking care of our mental health, taking care of our health care overall is really important. Yeah. Now, Dr. Danielle, you work with all sorts of people at the Aurora Mental Health Center, is that yes. correct? Tell me more about some of the people that you work with. We serve a wide variety of populations from refugee and immigrant uh, communities, people who have been undocumented. We serve people with acute mental illnesses. We serve people with dual diagnoses, so they have a mental illness and they may have a physical illness as well. We also serve people in the community that have um, been in the correctional facilities and uh, dealing with um, their court case but want to also get help with their mental health care. So we serve those folks as well. We serve anything in the developmental gamut from early childhood to older adults. Um, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. And you personally, what is your favorite group to work with? <laughs> um, I love working in the adolescent population and really diving deep into what really gives them a sense of purpose what really helps them orient their futures and how that then drives their behavior and behaviors. So w whether they're engaging in risky behavior or more pro-social behaviors, and then what sort of interventions and prevention programs, which we also offer, um, that could really help to elevate those spaces so that they can move in the direction of being proactive in the community and model citizens. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Danielle, I know you have a special event coming up this yes. spring. Let's talk about that. So exciting. Um, we have a, our second annual virtual summit series. It's anti-racism summit series that we are offering free of charge to anyone in the community that wants to participate and move on this journey with us. We are embarking on a journey of discovery and a journey of movement where anti-racism is not just a noun, but an actual practice that we are doing. And it's the core of our mission, of our vision, of our purpose. And so one of the things that I really think is important, Mother Teresa once said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone into the waters that create many ripples. And so we alone cannot be the whole of anti-racism, but we can really offer our services and offer the summit to everyone so that they can then start becoming um, an anti-racist organization or just communities that really embody anti-racism. That is so interesting. I'm so glad you're doing that. And real quick, tell us where people can find the information about this summit. They can find our AUMHC.org. All right. Dr. Danielle, thank you so much for being with us today. Mm -hmm. Learn more about the Aurora Mental Health Center and the free virtual diversity summit that is happening this April at aumhc.org or by calling 303-617-2300. They paid for today's segment.